hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel so a quick one how to remember everything you have studied for the k53 test okay so it's easy ne? you have to know this we start with the the road signs signals and markings right road signs signals and markings you have to know what they are categorized you have regulatory markings you have um warning signs you have guidance and information signs and then you have temporary signs all right under regulatory markings you have to know what they are divided into six you have control signs you have um command signs you have prohibition signs you have reservation signs uh, you have um selective restriction signs and you have um d restriction signs and you have comprehensive i mean comprehensive signs yes seven seven actually so you have to know what he asked so for instance i'm a control signs wabona uh, uh, red and white they are red and white so that red and white and they come in different shapes right they come in different shapes so there they tell you um hand i mean it's so uh, i mean it's control signs they will tell you where to stop where to yield and which direction to take you see control signs um and then you go to command signs i'm a command signs they tell you two things they tell you what action to take and they tell you what vehicle class should drive there you see once you understand that you, you you're good and then the background uh of the sign is blue written in white that is a command sign circle they are circles right then you go to the prohibition sign circled with red and then written also the prohibition signs they are there to prohibit the action and the vehicle class it's just the opposite of command okay once you understand that you're good and then reservation signs r is for roadway p is for parking that's it when you see a board that has r it's roadway reserved p is parking reserved that's it you go to um um comprehensive signs the comprehensive signs they um it's just one board that has a set uh, i mean that has comprehensive rules uh when you're driving here there must you must do this you must do this you must do that so normally it's dual carriage freeway um living area and single carriage freeway i three pair then you go to uh, selective restriction signs so selective restriction signs they go with um my selective restriction signs there is a primary sign of which would either be your command sign um prohibition sign or whatever it works as a primary sign and then the selective restriction works as a secondary sign okay so now corner up you have to know what he they will tell you what he, do not u turn i mean u turn prohibited that work as a primary sign and then the selective restriction sign will work as a secondary sign and then from there you go to yeah from there you go to warning signs warning you see with the red triangle red triangle so they are warning you about the road situation uh what's happening on the road there's a gate there's what there's what road, road situation the direction of movement gentle curve sharp curve hairpin bend stuff like that is the direction of movement and then they warn you about moving hazards moving hazards that's where they will tell you that there are farm animals there are pedestrians and stuff like that those are moving hazards then you go to um the road layout road layout how is the road it's a cross road it's a t-junction it's a sharp um it's a sharp junction skewed t-junction i mean skewed junction uh, staggered uh, junction and side road junction you know they are warning you about that and then um after that you we will go to the guidance and information signs they are informing you in 300 meters there's an off ramp in 200 meters there's an off ramp in 100 meters there's an off ramp you see those are the information signs and then the direction um if you want to take r27 you turn there you it's, it's that easy and then obviously after that 
uh, you go to the temporary signs temporary signs they are um, yellow in back i mean the background is yellow so that yellow background you know any other sign that you have covered that side the uh when it's temporary the sign will be yellow mm -hmm. all right so the command sign the background is yellow and then for the command signs then it's circled with black circled with black then you know that it's a command sign and then uh the prohibition sign the background is yellow but still circled with red and then the warning sign the background is yellow but still has that uh triangle that red triangle so it's just as easy as that uh then you go to the rules of the road the rules of the road the most important thing under rules of the road it's just the numbers when they say um when you are carrying a load um your load should not pro uh, uh, protrude how many meters in front and at the back those are the numbers that are important those 350 millimeters and also the warning 300 by 300 square square red flag uh, you have to know what how long is the license disc valid for the license disc of a vehicle is valid for uh 20 for 12 months sorry it's valid for 12 months and then you have to know the most important rule of the road is that you keep you keep left um what else uh okay the alcohol level 0, 0,01 i mean 0, 0,05 per 100 mils of blood <laughs> And then 0 0.02 per hundred mils of blood for professional drivers those are the numbers that you have to know and also the most important thing is that your 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 bright lights and your deep light bright lights should should be able to eliminate i mean to illuminate to illuminate the road at least 100 meters 100 meters and then deep lights should be 45 meters okay and then that's it and then have to know that you're not allowed to to drive on the left hand side on the yellow left edge uh, of the of the road you're not allowed to i mean you're only allowed to drive there when you are when you want to allow another vehicle to overtake you the, the, those are the things that you have to just remember there and um when overtaking another vehicle you cannot o overtake uh, in a band or in a cave and then i mean when i mean uh, uh, um, blind rise blind rise like it's like this we cannot overtake another vehicle here you see it's a blind rise because you cannot see there um you cannot overtake oncoming traffic um yeah that's it that's what you need to uh, remember that's what you need to know and then you go there you pass you make it you get me my friend so go there, write that thing, and make me proud, yeah? Don't forget to like this video and subscribe.